Hey, Fraser Brooks here. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you how you can prospect 10 complete strangers in a single week. Okay, so before I go into the training, like always, I am giving a free resource. So all you gotta do is click the link above and below this video to be able to get that free PDF so that you can get the kind of written material on my cliff notes on this video. All right, cool. So how do you prospect 10 complete strangers in a week? Because imagine if you and your team start to make that goal is every single week, we're gonna prospect 10 new people. So the first step really is actually finding them. So we need to find, we need to find the people to talk we need to find the people to prospect we need to connect with those people and then we need to introduce them to what, what it is that we've got right so obviously a prospect there's a difference between prospect and suspect my dad used to always say to me he used to say Fraser if you give your business card out to someone or you add someone then then they don't return it back they're a suspect but when you give you give someone a business card or you add someone and they connect back with you being being they given their details back to you then they're a prospect so finding people is the first step introducing or connecting is the second step, introducing them to an opportunity is the third step. So let's get into it, right? How many people, if you want to prospect, if we want, if the goal is to prospect 10 people, prospect 10 people, right? Then we need to connect with a lot more, a lot more than just 10 people, right? Okay, so here are the numbers, okay, from what I've been able to establish on a lot of the different 15 day challenges that I do, and there'll be a link to the, uh, there'll be a link somewhere around this video, maybe down in the description or in the comments, on where you can actually register for one of our next 15 day ninja challenges, which are absolutely amazing. We love doing them and everyone goes crazy for them, right? But here we go. So the first step is that you need to add, find, I say find, add a message, I call it FAM. Ten, uh, sorry, 10 people, it was, it's just over nine people, but I'm gonna round it up to 10. 10 people to get one person to reply, like to connect with you, to get one person. So find someone, so you find them in groups, you find them in the news feed, you find them using Instagram hashtags, you find them wherever and however you would like to on social media in particular. You then add that person and then you message them to let them know why you're adding them. So it's not just, like, I know what I'm gonna do. I've found Bob in a group. I'm gonna add Bob, and then I'm gonna do this. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Universe, please let Bob see my friend request and you know decide that he's going to accept me and message me to join my business and then ask me for the link and blah, blah. No, it's not gonna happen. You have to be the instigator. If you think attraction marketing is gonna work like that, it doesn't, it ch it's changed over the years, guys. You have to be the instigator. So you found Bob, you've added Bob, and then you're going to message Bob to let him know why you're adding him. Don't overcomplicate it. Hey, Bob. Uh, I noticed you also live in Liverpool. Me too, thought it'd be cool to connect. How's things? Hey Bob, noticed you live in London, looking to connect with people in the area. How, thought it'd be cool to connect with you. How's things? Hey Bob, noticed you like to travel. Thought it'd be cool to connect. How's things? Hey Bob, noticed you're into fit, fit, uh, fitness. Me too, thought it'd be cool to connect. How's things? If you do that to 10 people, one, just over one people, will actually, what, just over one person, will actually reply to you. Great. Now, depending on your skills, because guys, that's like, obviously, if your profile set up great, the more influence you've got, the more chance you've got, right? And if you wanna hack the process, here's a little hack for you, a little, little bonus hack, I'm gonna write hack here, is if they've got an active story, if they've got an active story, if you see Bob, right, and he's got a blue ring around his profile photo, click it to view his story, and if you're able to give it a love heart or a comment, do that. So in their messenger, they will get the interaction. So if you then send the message, guess what? Right? Excited works really, really well on Instagram in particular, that, right? Okay, so once you've got these people, once you've got the one person, it, depending on your skill levels, right? You, it, you can expect to have to have a conversation with anywhere from 30 to 40 people, right? 30 to 40 people. 30 to 40 people to get one distributor, but you would also expect to get about four customers, right? Those are the numbers. 
Okay, those, those are some of the numbers. Now I'm going in depth with these numbers, so I hope you guys understand that you can rewind, you can pause, you can go back, get a piece of paper, because this is very, very important. Because again, business is built on numbers, not by people. People lie, numbers don't. One plus one is always two. It's not, mm, um, it might be 1.7 today. No, it's not, it's, it's always that. And as I mentioned in a previous video, I think it was episode, I think it was episode number seven, it could be eight, I think it might be, no, it was number, episode number eight, I actually discussed um, goals and having activity-based goals, not results-based goals. So instead of us having the result to the result-based goal of prospecting ten people, which is actually activity, in this example, it's a result. We need to get the right activity to be able to prospect ten people. So if we found out the message, 10 people will have one conversation. So in order for us to get 30 to 40 conversations, we're going to need to add a zero to these numbers. We're gonna to have to find out the message, 300 to 400 people in a week to have 30 to 40 people in conversation with, all right? But the goal was 10 people, right? So we're going to need to get 100 we're gonna to have to fam, find out a message, 100 people. Yes, I know, my notes are all over the place here. Now, this is what I know. I've tested this with a number of different groups. I actually got them on a Zoom call and said, right, after three, you're gonna go. I'm gonna set a timer to five minutes and you're going to find, add a message. Whenever you found, add a message, those all those three, I want you to make a note of it on your piece of paper. And at the end of the five minutes, I want you to let me know how many you did. And there was hundreds of people on all the different groups. The average was, in five minutes, people were able to find, add, and message five people. So what does that mean? Every minute, you can fam someone. So, if we need to find, add, and message 100 people in a week, right? That's going to take us 100 minutes in a week. All right, so 100 minutes, let's say you're just doing Monday to Friday, that's 20 minutes per day. 20 minutes per day to create enough responses for you to be having conversations to be able to prospect people. Now, when it comes to prospecting, you need to be able to ask them the question, which I have in my book called I Dare You, and the question is, hey Bob, just curious, would you be open to checking out some more information? on an exciting opportunity, or on an exciting way to make money on social media, or on how to fire your boss, on, on how to spend more time with your kids, or on how to play golf more, and how to go shopping more. No worries if not, I just thought I would ask. So in kind of recapping here, when we come down to this process, you find, and then we kind of add message. You connect with them based on their response. Right, so on their reply. So if you say, hey Bob, noticed you live in Liverpool, thought it'd be cool to connect, well, me too, thought it'd be cool to connect, how's things? And they, one of those 10 people reply on average to say like, yeah, cool, like how, how's things with you? You've connected and you're gonna have a little bit of back and forth. You create a relationship, you turn the stranger into a friend before you get them in the business because strangers aren't gonna join, right? Friends join, okay? Like new friends especially. New friends are even more powerful than old friends. It's kind of bizarre how that works now, right? And then you introduce them by asking the question that I just mentioned before to see if they'd be a fit for you. That is how you prospect 10 people in a week. It's a massive amount of activity, knowing what you've got to do each and every single day and the time you've got to spend. Everyone has 20 minutes a day everyone. If you got value from this video, let me know in the comments down below. Feel free to share this with people in your team so they get to know that, hey, you can legitimately build a business in 20 minutes a day of connect, connecting with people. And yeah, feel free to sub subscribe. If you, want the free vi if you want the free resource, feel free to just hit the link above or below this video and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. See you soon, guys. Appreciate you. Bye-bye. Hey, thanks so much for watching the video. What I've decided to do is I've put two little videos there that I recommend for you to go check out, but also be sure to check out my book, I Dare You. It is the ultimate guide to building the network marketing business using social media. So all you have to do is click the link somewhere down the bottom there to go get your copy.